been his dream to fly planes, but now a pilot at Travis Air Force Base is fighting to keep his wings. Yeah, KPI X5's John Ramos explains the medical condition that's grounded him for now and how he's working to get back to the skies. Captain Brent Burklow is a pilot at Travis Air Force Base for one simple reason. That's all I ever wanted to do. That's all I've ever talked about. So it's definitely a dream of mine. That's common among the pilots who fly the big KC-10 refueling planes here. But what is uncommon is how Brent is being tested to hold on to that dream. It began last year as pain in his leg and lower back. And in June, he lost control of his foot. A softball-sized malignant tumor was found growing on his sciatic nerve. When you heard this diagnosis, what was your first thought? Honestly, it was, I hope this doesn't affect my ability to fly an airplane. Doctors at Stanford removed the tumor and nerve and grafted a new one from his foot. But, of course, that wasn't the end of it. We have a lot of rules, obviously, about what you can and can't fly with. Uh, the basic rule for a flyer is you have to be in perfect health. But Brent isn't giving up. Just 45 days after surgery, he reported back for duty, and he's been doing everything he can to regain his flight status. He's logging time in the simulator and has figured out ways to compensate for his still unresponsive foot. And if I push hard enough on this leg, it starts pushing my foot forward down on the pedal itself. And the entire squadron is rallying to help him. Last week, they bent the rules a bit to let his mother join her son in a little orientation flight aboard the aircraft. Here, everyone is family, and they all know what it means for a pilot to keep his wings. To see that taken away for a minute is a crushing blow, and um, it will be, it'll be one of the happiest days of my life to see him get to fly an airplane again. Captain Brent Burklow says he can't give up, because even if he's not fighting for his life, he is fighting for the life he loves. At Travis Air Force Base, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Well, we certainly wish him the best. Captain Burklow says he is seeing improvement, but it'll take time for the new nerve to grow in. Eventually, he is going to have to convince a medical panel that he is fit to regain his flight status.